as we got the maximum words for the flower pollination algorithm so in this video we will try to understand what is this algorithm all about in upcoming video we will try to understand the numerical example for the bacterial forcing optimization algorithm but right now as we got the maximum words for the flower pollination algorithm so right now in this video we will discuss what is the flower pollination algorithm this video is based on the flower pollination algorithm and in this video we will try to understand what is this algorithm all about how it is working different mathematical models used for the local search global search in this algorithm and we have certain rules for the algorithm simplicity and different areas where we can use this algorithm so first of all as you can see here flower pollination algorithm is a nature inspired algorithm that is proposed in 2012 it is a nature inspired population based meta heuristic optimization algorithm that is basically inspired by the flowering behavior of the plants in the nature this algorithm basically mimic the pollination process in the flowering plants and this algorithm is also superior than the different meta heuristic optimization algorithms and we can use this algorithm to solve different real world problems in the different fields for example clustering problems image processing problems feature selection problems structural design problems and even we can use this algorithm to solve the global optimization problems so as this algorithm is inspired by the flowering behavior of the plants in the nature so first we will try to understand what is the flowering behavior what is the pollination and how will this process occur in the nature so that we can easily understand how this algorithm is working so first of all as you can see here flowers on the screen so flowers are the tools used by the plants to make their seeds and fruits and flower must be pollinated by the pollinators for the plant so that they can create seeds and fruits there are more than 250,000 flowering plant species worldwide and we have 2 lakh species of pollinators pollinators such as butterflies moth hummingbirds and other bird species insects bees and other pollinators plays the major role in the pollination process that we will discuss in the upcoming slides now we will try to understand what is pollination and different types of pollination. Pollination is the reproduction system used by the flowering plants. It is the process where pollen is transferred from the anther to the stigma. Anther is the male part in the flowering plant and stigma is the female part in the flowering plant. So pollination occurs when the pollen is transferred from the enter to stigma in the flowering plants after that fertilization and production of seeds here we have different types of pollination self-pollination and cross-pollination self-pollination is also known as abiotic pollination in this case pollinators are not required and it can be done by wind also 10 percent of flowering plants use abiotic pollination next we have the cross pollination cross pollination is the main type of pollination it is also known as biotic pollination in the cross pollination pollinators such as bees birds and other are required in the cross pollination the pollen is transferred from the anther of one flower to the stigma of the another flower so as you can see here in the self-pollination the pollinators are not required it occurred within the closed flower and the fertilization occur with their own pollen but in case of cross-pollination the the pollination occur between the pollen and the ovule of the different parts of the same species now we will try to understand the cross-pollination with a short video cross-pollination the pollen is transferred from the one flower to the another flower so when the pollinator is moving from one flower to another the pollen is attached with the 
pollinator and then it will be really transferred when it is landing on the other flowers. So this is cross pollination. So we pollen play her a very important role. So now we will try to understand what is pollen. And in this algorithm, we will call pollen or flower as the solution vector. Here you can see the pollen and the flower and we have the pollinator. So right now you can see we have the pollen grains. You can see in the flowers. Pollen is the yellow dust. They are the fine dust like particles and have the unique shape. And you can see this in the early spring. Pollen is developed within the anther that is the male part in the flowering plant and when it is developed it collected on the surface as you can see here this is anther you can see here that is the male part and when the pollen is developed it is collected on the surface and when pollinators land on the flowers for the nectar it attached to the pollinators and when they land on the other flowers it is transferred you can see here we have the pollen grains for the different flowers and you can see the pollen is attached to the pollinators as they land on the flowers and you can see here this is the stigma that is the female part in the flowering plant here you can see this is the stigma and here we have the ovary for the successful pollination the pollen must be transported to the stigma of the same plant species at the right time if pollination is not successful no seeds or fruits occur so here you can see the ovary here the whole fertilization and all process occur as you can as we said that pollen is collected on the anther surface this is artificial flower but hope you can see the you know the dust like yellow particles here after that you can see here again you can see another example for the pollen dust you can see here on the flowers and you can see here the insect as you can see here first the pollen is collected on the anther part and through pollinator it is transferred to the other plants as we already saw in that video there are pollinators such as insects bees butterflies and other and after that you can see here when the pollination is successful if pollination is successful then we have output as the fruit and the seeds if pollination is not successful then there is no seed or fruit for example as you can see here we have the flowering plant and after successful pollination and you can see here from the flower seed is created done as you can see here seed is created from the flowers and in the end you can see the fruit so for the successful pollination it should be transported to the stigma part now so as we discussed the whole pollination process, how it occur in the nature, uh, what is pollination, what is pollen, the and how whole this process occur in the nature. Now we will try to understand how the whole process is applied in this algorithm to solve optimization problems. So as we know that in the metaheuristic optimization algorithms, two important phases are exploration phase and the exploitation phase. Exploration phase is known as global search and exploitation phase is known as local search. So in this algorithm for the global search, biotic or cross pollination is used and for the local search, abiotic or self pollination is used. As we already discussed the types of pollination, we have self pollination that is abiotic, cross pollination that is biotic. So in this algorithm, we will use the biotic or cross pollination for the global search and a biotic or the self pollination for the local search. So here you can see we have certain steps used in this algorithm. First we will initialize the population 
Here we will randomly initialize the population for the n flowers in the search space. After that, when population is initialized, using a fitness function, we will evaluate the performance for the each flower in the search space. And after that, we will find out the best among all. Here, flower, in this algorithm, flower or pollen is used as the solution vector. You can say the pollen or flower. After that, we will use the switch probability. This is used to, as you can see, we are using here the biotic and abiotic pollination. So here, we will use the switch probability to decide either we will perform the global, either we will perform the cross-pollination or self-pollination. After that, we will increment the counter, check the stopping criteria, then we are inside the main loop. In the main loop, you can see for the each individual. So here we have the switch probability. Here we will check if this condition is true, we will perform the global pollination. If this condition is not true, then we will perform the local pollination. R is the random number that is normally distributed random number. Now, as you can see, the in the cross pollination, the pollinators are required and they are moving from one flower to another. So in nature, it is quite natural. But in this algorithm, we are using the Lavis flight, or you can say Lavis distribution to calculate the step size for the pollinators. And in local pollination, that is the self pollination here, no pollinators are required. Done. After that, we will evaluate the new solution and then we will check whether the new solution are better than the previous one or not. And after that, we will find the best solution among all and display the best. Okay, now we already discussed the steps. Now we will try to understand the mathematical model as we discussed how this is occurring in the nature. They are moving and landing on the plants and transfer the pollen. But now we will try to understand how all this happening here uh, using this algorithm mathematically. So now we will discuss the mathematical models. So here certain rules are used in this algorithm for the simplicity. So the first rule, the global pollination involves biotic pollination or you can say the cross pollination where pollinators are required to carry the pollen based on the Lavis flight. So here we are using the Lavis flight to transfer the pollen using pollinators in this algorithm and Lavis flight is used to calculate the step size. So Lavis flight, so using Lavis flight we can carry the pollen in this algorithm by the pollinators and you can see the pollinators we have honeybees, birds, bats, insects, flies, moth, butterflies and other. So mathematical model for the first rule as you can see here we can calculate the step size that is the Lewis flight using this equation here you can see L that is the Lewis flight and this is the new solution that we will update and after that older solution or you can see the pollen and then we have the Lewis flight and this is the best solution that we obtained in the current population in that iteration. Second rule according to second rule now we have second rule for the local pollination. This is for the global pollination. Now we have the local pollination and for the local pollination we will use the self pollination or the abiotic pollination. 10% flowering plants are using the abiotic or the self pollination and it is often done by wind also. We can perform the local pollination in this algorithm using this equation. This is the new solution and here you can see this is the pollen from the different flowers. You know, in, cell, in self pollination, the fertilization occur with their own pollen. But as you can see here, this equation mimic the this equation mimic the flowering flowering constancy in the limited neighborhood. And here, this is the uniform distribution. And when the new solution is generated, then it will not be far away from the 
existing one. Now we have the third rule. According to the third rule, we can consider the flower consistency as the reproduction probability. Here we will check the similarity between the two flowers. So we will check the two similar solutions. This is basically the local random walk and here same species can be selected from the same population and in this algorithm the similarity between the two solution vector is checked for the local random walk. And after that you can see here for the rule number four this is for the switch probability that either we will perform the global pollination or the local pollination. Here we will use this probability value to control between local and the global pollination. The p-value will determine whether the solution is modified by global pollination or local pollination and this is the random number that is normally distributed. So this is the flow chart for this algorithm. First we will start with the initial population that is randomly distributed in the search space. After that using a cost function we will evaluate the performance for the each agent and then find out the best among all. Define the switch probability whether we will perform the global search or the local search that is the a biotic pollination or the biotic pollination or we can say the self pollination or the cross pollination and after that we will modify the solution evaluate their performance and then we will check whether the older solution are better than the new one or not if they are new solutions are better than the older one then we will update the new solution position and then check the stopping criteria if stopping criteria is matched then display the best solution found if stopping criteria, it means the current iteration is not equal to the next iteration, then we will repeat the loop from here. So here in this video, we discuss what is pollination, what different types of pollination, how will this process occur, and how this algorithm is using the pollination concept to solve the optimization problems, and how the pollination concept is used in this algorithm and and how this pollination process is used in this algorithm so that's all about this video if any question you can comment below and thanks for watching this video